This video tests the protection provided by regular polycarbonate safety glasses against an 80 watt CO2 laser. The following experiment and research might suggest these provide sufficient protection, but no claim can be made since shop glasses are not rated for laser protection. Pro properly, oh my God, properly rated laser glasses are guaranteed to provide sufficient protection. Hi, do you guys have eyes? Six or less, a couple. I really only need like one or two, but maybe some spares. I haven't actually seen these. <laughs> Cameraman John picked them up. Don't know what I expected. I'm not excited to open this. Let's have a quick moment of silence for the pig. And uh, now let's thank the butcher, old country butchers, for giving us these eyes. And they don't do anything with them. I think they normally get thrown away. This is something I did not think I would be doing today. So I guess we need to talk about what we're actually doing. We're using two sets of safety glasses to test. The laser safety glasses and regular safety glasses. They're both made of like relatively similar material, I think polycarbonate. Essentially, these are absorbing all the laser light, which stops it or, you know, for a while will stop it from getting to your eye. But some might still make it through and we'll try to measure it. So we'll blast these with laser light with the eyes underneath. Without the glasses, we'll blast the eyes and then we'll try to uh, make a little photo sensor underneath and blast them again to detect how much light actually makes it through. It's laser time! Okay, I, we don't actually need the air compressor. I didn't do that, I didn't. We don't need that. Let's take the lens off. I use this plate every morning for breakfast. <laughs> it's just meat, right? It's all sticky. Are we ready for DIY laser eye surgery? Three, two, one. Oh, shh. Oh my God. That was really violent. Oh God, it smells. Woo, that's ripe. I have a newfound respect for safety glasses. That is absolutely terrifying. I mean, that was a really quick pulse where I'm just smacking the laser and it like exploded the cornea. There's little pits and craters. Maybe we should find an eye doctor and ask him like what kind of damage this would do to you. That's 80 watt laser, right? Yeah, 80, yeah. I think. The, the cornea damage from that first hit. This is something you're gonna feel the effects of your entire life or it can be lessened. <clears throat> well, this, this shot right here, uh, this is the, the cornea took the four, full blunt of the CO2 laser and on, on body parts, the CO2 laser uh, causes uh, vaporization of tissue so there's a loss of tissue there and and it's gone through the surface of the eye the central area of damage that's into the stroma of the cornea the deeper substance of the cornea and that's going to leave a permanent scar there if this was a human eye would need to have uh, a corneal transplant more than likely to to get good vision back again so and you think you'd get like 100% good vision, 90%? Yeah, I mean, it, corneal transplants vary, but uh, you could get anywhere probably from 70 to 95% return of vision by uh, a good corneal transplant. So if enough light made it through right. the glasses, it could potentially damage... It could damage the retina. The retina, yes, too. Yes, because we do use infrared lasers um, on the retina. So just because it takes the blunt doesn't mean you're entirely safe? No. We're going to test the same thing, but with the safety glass in front. Three, two, one. Well, I think we've ruined those glasses. Oh, that smells like laser cut polycarbonate. Underneath them is like no damage whatsoever. I think we can pretty safely conclude that getting lasered with eyeglasses is much better than getting lasered without eyeglasses. If these do their job, I can almost guarantee these are going to do their job. And I almost feel like we don't have to laser them. I feel like we should. But I feel like I'm, saying f I'm feeling too much. This is my only pair of laser glasses. <laughs> and I think they're like 40 bucks to replace. Oops, oh, I touched the eyeball. <laughs> Two, one. And we did that right over the previous burn mark. Switching eyeballs. Oh God. We've switched to the clean eye and we're going to um, try to strike it again with the laser. Two, one. <sighs> I see no damage. No damage whatsoever. It was like a half-baked experiment, not to be meant, not to, oh my god, not meant to be taken. Um, take it with a grain of salt. I'm dying. I'm dying. Are there going to be secondary damages? Let's say it blocks 95%. If 5% of the light makes it through, how bright is that? Is that enough brightness to damage your eye? Can we compare that to how bright daylight is? We, what, I don't know what order this video is going in, but right now we're gonna talk about the electronics that we're gonna do this next test with. And that is an Arduino with a thermophile, thermopile? It's like a temperature sensor basically, but it measures the IR light, and a phototransistor. We're not gonna blast the sensors with the direct light 
um, because that'll break them, but we'll blast the glasses and look at the sensor readings. So we're gonna do everything relative. We're gonna see if there's a big difference in the readings between the glasses. This is not super scientific, but I think it should give us a ballpark. Start recording data, and then I'm going to unplug that so that it stops. You can see a really large spike in the visible light, and it's almost actually peaking on the sensor. And actually, I think we maybe should have made that a little bit less sensitive. Let's, you know what, let's do that. Let's make that less sensitive. Pulled some polarized lenses out of uh, 3D glasses and crossed them and stuck them on top of the sunglasses uh, and taped it all together. Now we'll try to blast it with light. Once again, there's not a lot of change in the infrared. The spikes, that seems pretty reasonable. Like it shoots really high and then it drops down. I wonder why that is. Maybe the char, like it builds a char up on the outer layer of the glasses. And then we'll try this right now again with the laser safety glasses. This chart shows the regular glasses outdoor, the regular glasses under the laser, the laser glasses outdoors, and the laser glasses under the laser. The light that hit the laser safety glasses and the regular safety glasses under the laser is comparably less than the sun did. So I think if the laser was to hit you straight into, into the safety glasses, it would be comparable to looking directly into the sun, um, which isn't good, but that's not, doesn't seem like that bad. And that's visible light. The IR lights seem to be completely attenuated. We're going to call a laser eyewear company right now. I got a question about the uh, laser safety glasses I need for uh, an 80 watt CO2 laser. What do you guys recommend? An 80 watt system, um, realistically, we need an optical density about four. What, what does optical What's density that? even mean? It tells you how much protection is being offered. An OD of one blocks out 90% of that wavelength, an OD of two blocks out 99%, an OD of three blocks out 99.9. .9. And, so on. and I've seen some people use just like regular safety glasses, like shop, like wood shop safety glasses. Is that mm -hmm. a bad idea? Yes and no. There's absolutely no claim that can be made that, that those glasses, uh, even if they're used, them, would offer sufficient protection. More than likely, it's offering enough of protection. Okay, so basically the laser safety glasses will be guaranteed to offer the protection where yes. the woodworking yes. glasses just... Yeah. And, and we put on the, on the glasses, the, the wavelength and the power and the level of protection that they offer. Uh, not to come to any conclusive conclusions, but the tests that we did and the people we talked to, the laser safety glasses performed very similarly to the um, regular safety glasses. And this doesn't, this is just the, the infrared and the visible. We didn't look at anything else. So like this is, just take this with a grain of salt. But the big difference between the two is these were designed to block infrared light and they are guaranteed to block infrared light. These were not designed to block infrared light and they might block infrared light. Don't come crying to me if you use regular safety glasses and get your eyes exploded. Exploded. Exploded it. Keep in mind that not every single pair of safety glasses is actually made of polycarbonate. There's some other materials like Trivex or something and I have literally no idea how those work. So if you want to guarantee, you know, your eyes are worth like 150 bucks to you, Use the laser safety glasses. If you want to take a risk, you can probably get away with regular safety glasses. Okay, let's give away one t-shirt. We made some more laser cat shirts on polyester cotton shirts. Uh, yeah, ooh, ooh. So yeah, give a, give a, leave comment. Leave comment, leave a video suggestion for an experiment. Did anyone suggest this? I think someone did ask us to do this, but I had kind of wanted to do it before. Should I still give them credit? No, you don't get any credit.